The end of analog television was a, a really important moment for us to mark, uh, and we wanted to look at the this idea that really very rarely have artists made work for television or have artists had the opportunity to have their works broadcast on television and yet we've been hammered by television for, for more than 50 years and it's permeated our lives. In the final days of Analog TV, kind of reverse that and give artists a chance to take over the medium. The biggest challenge for us in, in moving televisions into a gallery context was taking something that was a five day long broadcast project that included live works that were filmed in front of a kind of studio audience and around I think 20 hours of curated uh, video works that came in through an open call out and then trying to compact that into a gallery experience for someone. In those final days of analog it was a seemed like the right moment in the kind of history of TV and media to kind of address its cultural dominance, which still kind of exists now, but um, yeah, it just seemed like the right milestone kind of moment to kind of acknowledge that and see what would happen when artists are given the opportunity to work, you know, with performance and the technical parameters of TV. There was all of these unexpected things that came up in terms of like being able to use even just those parameters of a kind of three camera, kind of green screen, um, all these different parameters that could become really obvious that we're just used to seeing. And um, I think giving the artist a chance to go behind this, behind the technology and behind um, that studio structure and then play around with that in a really elastic way and still addressing things that they're already kind of investigating their own practice, really develop these really unique kind of beautiful and strange works that are in you know, the installation.